Hey guys. guys, if you're new here, I'm Tegan. I'm Sam. And we are the Rip Twins. Today, we are doing the much requested Draw My Life video because someone requested it. <laughs> and we were like, what's Draw My Life? So, we, so had- we actually had to, yeah, YouTube what Draw My Life was. And once we saw what it was, we were like, wow, that's actually pretty cool. To be honest, putting our whole life on a whiteboard is pretty scary. We're going to give it our best shot. But Bye. before we get on with the video, be sure to subscribe. If you haven't already. And give it a big thumbs up if, if you, you like it. it. And be sure to click that bell so you get notified every time we post a video. It all started on June 22nd, 1995, when we backflipped out the womb. Well, obviously we weren't. We were there. <laughs> <laughs> obviously we didn't backflip out the womb, but <laughs> let's just say we did. <laughs> we are the youngest of five kids, as we have three older brothers, Mitchell, Cody and Clayton. Our mum always wanted a girl, so after our third brother was born, the first thing our dad said was, don't worry, we can when go When our mum found out she was having twins, she cried in fear that she wouldn't have room in her belly to fit us. And what if we were both boys? It wasn't until we were born that she found out she wasn't just having one, but two baby girls. She was absolutely on cloud nine. Our mum said she didn't care how much we kept her up at night. She was just so grateful to have us. Obviously, we don't remember being babies, but apparently Tegan was so loud and I was pretty quiet. Our mum got so many visitors because it was a novelty to have twins. Mum said that she even got stopped by strangers at the shops and said it took so long to shop sometimes because so many people came up to her. Because people knew we were twins, as mum loved to dress us up the same. As our mum was a dancer and an acrobat when she was younger, she took us to our first acro class when we were three years old. We were so shy that we wouldn't do the acro class unless our mums stayed and watched us at the front of the class. Besides throwing us around at home, mum decided to take us to our first dance class at the age of five. I remember crying every single Saturday before dance class. It wasn't that I didn't like it. I was just scared for some reason. Sam was okay. She would just go with the flow. She was kind of in her own world. (laughs) We obviously weren't like this all the time and we got better with age. Mum never really imagined our whole life to revolve around dance. That's why she eased us into styles slowly. Jazz was first, tap followed by ballet and then lyrical, hip-hop, contemporary all came a bit later. We even tried singing. I know, right? La 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 la. Because we loved dancing and acro so much, it kind of did take over our life, but in a good way. And not quite to the extent that you might think. We only danced a few hours after school, a couple of days a week. A lot of people assume that we do hours and hours of dance. But I guess when we weren't at school or at dance class, we were practising a lot at home. So I guess when you add it all up, we did do hours and hours of dance. So school. We remember primary school as fun and easy compared to the pressures of high school. We enjoyed going to school because it was a lot of fun and you got to hang out with your friends. And I guess you learnt some things. The highlights of primary school were faction carnivals, inter-school and edgy dance and phys ed class. So basically anything sporty. One of the things that I remember about primary school is breaking my arm. It wasn't at school, it was at acro class. And I don't know what happened, I just... I remember seeing Tinga up and crack and off to hospital. <laughs> Woo! Not really, I didn't go on an ambulance, but... <laughs> It was pretty scary. So I had my arm in the sling for six weeks. And when you're a kid, six weeks is like six years. Pretty much. So anyway, primary school for us was pretty cool. And it was hard to say goodbye and transition into high school because we weren't ready to grow up yet and leave behind all the friends and fun times we had. Goodbye, goodbye. And now it's time to go to high school, the big daunting high school. Dun, dun, dun. Actually, just before we went to high school, we auditioned for Australia's Got Talent which was really cool. And really scary. We had to practice so much for this. We went to the park every day and we're basically there all day. (laughs) All day, every day. It was a really exciting experience and Sam and I thought we did so well. But one of the judges went on about our costume or something. She said it was too old for us and we didn't really understand at the time, but I think she thought that we were too young to be doing the can-can, so she was like, why are you wearing those costumes? We made it onto TV and that was so exciting for us. So exciting. So high school. A lot of our friends didn't go to the same school as us, which meant we had to make new friends. We were nervous, but in the end, it was okay. So high school was pretty good for us. Just the normal challenges I guess everyone faces. We feel like everyone else around us was in like this big hurry to grow up, but we feel it's gotten even worse today. And it's weird comparing what we were like compared to the kids growing up today. I mean, you're only a kid once and for such a short time in your life. So kids, don't be in a rush to grow up. You have the rest of your life to grow up. If, for some reason, we had the chance to repeat high school, we wouldn't. (laughs) (laughs) See ya! (laughs) 
there was just like so much pressure in the last two years. There was such an emphasis on getting good grades so that you could make it into the courses you wanted to at uni. We feel like one day you're a kid and the next you're being forced to decide what you're going to do for the rest of your life. I mean, we knew it was going to be something to do with dancing, but the decisions and the studying was tough. So 2010, this was a pretty weird year. Tegan was told she had to give up dancing due to a lump she found in her leg. It was a really frightening time for us all, but luckily it was a benign tumour. I had to have an operation to remove 8 centimetres of my fibula bone, as it was causing me so much pain and stopping me from dancing and acrobatting to the best of my ability. So we won't go into details about that major event in this video, maybe another time. All in all, I'm all good now, and I've got a wicked scar to tell the story. <laughs> a cool x-ray. After high school finished, we went straight into uni, which was another crazy step in our lives. We studied a Bachelor of Education, majoring in drama and minoring in dance. For the whole first year at uni, we constantly came home and questioned whether we were making the right decision. Like, was this what we really wanted to do? Although we did like the idea of uni so much better than high school because you didn't have to go all day every day. And you got to sleep in. Like, who doesn't love a sleep in? Yeah. Zs. <laughs> we loved that we could concentrate more on improving our dancing and acro skills in time for annual dance competitions, which we still do now. Dance comps can be quite stressful, but we love performing and training for them because it gives us something to work towards. And we also love being inspired by all the other amazing dancers that we get to compete alongside. Comps has definitely had a big impact on our improvement over the years. We work each other hard to improve and be the best that we can be together. Amongst our first crazy busy year at uni, we auditioned for Australia's Got Talent for the second time and we were lucky enough to make it through to the semi-finals. It was honestly the best experience and we're so glad we did it. 2013 was also the first year we travelled all the way to America with our dance family. It was such an exciting trip. We got to lead the dance parade at Disneyland and perform at Universal Studios and on Hollywood Boulevard where the Walk of Fame was. We made so many memories that we'll cherish forever. Little did we know that we would take a trip to America every year after that. And it was always thanks to dance. Each trip to America was so amazing and we couldn't help but be so grateful for dance, allowing us to travel and experience all these exciting things. So while we were travelling, we were still at uni, which some people found pretty crazy. We would be like, guys, we, we're kind of leaving to go to America. Tomorrow. <laughs> we have to do this assignment early, really sorry. But everyone was really supportive throughout it. So the next few years were pretty stressful, especially because we had to do prac. Prac was where we had to go into schools and practice teaching, dance and drama to students who were not only bigger than us, <laughs> but taller than us. Some of them were only one year younger than us, so it was very it was, daunting. Yeah, it was pretty daunting. But we pushed through and we did it, and it like made you more independent. Yeah, because we had to separate for the first time. Like we had to go in our own cars. We had to drive by ourselves. <laughs> so, but we're really glad we did it because we have so many amazing memories of uni. We have all the experience, and we can use everything that we learnt in everyday life and especially when we're teaching dancing. Yes, and we now have a degree that we can fall back on at any time in our lives. So while we were at uni, we got an email from twins Brooklyn and Bailey in November 2015 asking us to join their new channel Squared. This was our introduction to YouTube. This was so exciting but also really scary. I mean, we had to post a video every week. We had to put ourselves online every week. Were we prepared to do this? No. But we faced our fear and it slowly got easier. We learnt so much about YouTube in that first year and we have Brooklyn and Bailey and their family to thank for that. So thanks Brooklyn and Bailey for introducing us to YouTube. When we finished our degree at the end of 2016, we obviously had more time on our hands so this is when we decided to post a video a week on our own channel and this was really exciting for us. This gave us the opportunity to share all sorts of content with you guys and be creative, which we love. And we can't actually believe so many people are interested in watching us. Our first video went okay, but our second one, it went crazy and now it has 16 million views. Ah! We were so excited when we hit 100,000 subscribers. And today we're celebrating almost 1 million subscribers. Thank you guys so much. We love you all so much. And the comments that you leave for us honestly inspire us to make more, better videos for you guys. 2017. What a roller coaster it has been. 
First of all, we officially graduated at the beginning of the year and we got to have the cute little graduation <laughs> hats and the gowns and yes, we threw our hats in the air at the end. It was a pretty exciting day. Then all of a sudden we were off to Germany. Yeah, like legit four nights before we entered Germany, we were asked to go to Germany to be a part of a Got Talent show. It was a really exciting experience. We didn't really get on in the end, but... Yeah, there's a video about that, so you can go check that out on our channel. So this year, we decided to become full-time YouTubers. It's been a pretty awesome road so far. <laughs> P.S. Sam has a boyfriend. <laughs> More about that later. Okay, so a few videos, dance competitions, and a trip to America later. Life was pretty good. Then our lives changed forever. Unfortunately, two months ago, our dad passed away unexpectedly. This was a huge shock and we're still struggling to come to terms with it. Thankfully, we have supportive family and friends to help us get through this sad and devastating time. Life can be pretty unfair sometimes and catch you by surprise. So enjoy life today because yesterday is gone and tomorrow is never promised. We love you, Dad, and we miss you every day. Luckily, not long after this time, an exciting opportunity came up that helped distract us from this tragic time. We can't tell you right now, so you're going to have to stay tuned for that. And that basically brings us to the end of the Draw My Life video. Wow, we're up that was now. stressful. <laughs> and we hope our drawings weren't too bad. <laughs> and we hope you found this video interesting to listen and watch. Remember, we post videos every Monday on Squared, and we and post we every Thursday on our channel. So hopefully we'll see you guys next week. See ya!